In the last segment, we showed you three of the Max Daddy events from Sealands Grove Raceway Park on Saturday. And before the big event, the Max Daddy, which paid $10,000 to the winner, Jan caught up with the pool sitter, Jonathan Cash. So Jonathan, you're on the pole for the 10000 to win. Yes, this was uh, pretty good. You know, hopefully we can get that 10000 It's a lot of money, a long way for us. So hopefully we can um, be real good here. It's a lot of competition, a lot of drivers. So um, it's going to be a good race. It's going to be long. You know, 50 laps on a go-kart is pretty long. So hopefully, you know, we can withstand the endurance and uh, come out on top. Well, you said it's a long drive. Where are you, where are you from? Uh, we're actually from, like, Raleigh, North Carolina. So it's about eight hours. I know a few guys pull a lot further than we did. But, um, but we enjoy it. Um, Great racetrack. It's just fun up here. Love racing with these guys. Okay. What's this track compare like to the ones that you're used to down south? Um, you know, so far what we've run on this year, it's about the same size. This track just got a little more grip than what most people, most places have for us. What's it feel like being only a few inches off the ground and going 70 miles an hour? Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, I've drove stock cars before and um, run about 180, and actually this feels faster than stock cars. So. Um, We've done, I've done both, so um, it's pretty cool. You know, these things are, this is what I do for a living, so um, it's pretty cool. Do you think it feels faster because it's open air? Open air and just so low to the ground, you know, you're just, you know, you're sitting up in the air, you know, on a car or something, and you don't really see the ground moving. On these, you see the ground moving, so it's going by pretty good. Now, you're on the pole, but of course, that's not guaranteed. You came this far, and you might have only raced two laps and then gone home. Um, does that put a lot of pressure on you? Yeah, it does. You know, I guess those guys from the south kind of, kind of keep compete for this kind of money about every week. We at least run for about 5000 every week, and I think that kind of eases the the nerves and stuff a little bit for us. So, um, and this tire, Max's tire, we're used to running. I know these guys up here run burst tires all the time. So, um, you know, we were nervous, but not nervous, you know. So we don't, I don't, we come up with a lot of confidence, hoping that we'll be really good. Okay, great. Well, we wish you the best today. Thank you. The 10,000 to win Max Daddy saw a caution at the start of the race and two more before lap five. In the early laps, pole sitter Jonathan Cash still held the point position. With just over a lap to go before the midway break, Nick Scott in the 0-5 takes the lead from Cash, while Donnie Knoll also gets by the 40 cart. During the break, a light rain hit the track for a few minutes. Once we get back up to speed in the second half of the race, Noel muscles his way past Scott for the lead. Cash also takes advantage of the situation. Cash would regain the lead with this pass of Noel on lap 28. With seven laps to go, Noel works to the inside of Cash to move back to the top spot. Down the stretch, Donnie Noel was able to hold off Joseph Pakovich to claim the $10,000 top prize. Well, you started up near the front. Were you saving yourself to the end there? No, no, I was driving all I could do the whole time. Uh, it was real loose. It was, we didn't have a tire exactly right, but uh, I was just doing all I could do just uh, to keep it on the bottom because it was real, real slick. So you, if you missed it just a little bit, you was going to be uh, out to lunch. And I actually, I missed it about three to go, and I was like, oh, God. But uh, that's about it. Well, um, during the refueling, it did rain a little bit. Did that make the track uh, more slick or change the conditions any? Yes, it made it a little bit more slick, and I actually had my tires a little bit too soft, and I think that's what helped with the rain sprinkled just enough to let me get my traction back and uh, it worked out just right. Uh, it was a couple moves I made out there at the beginning probably helped me win the race. It was two, two real good dominant cars and uh, they drive me a little bit dirty and I drive them a little bit dirty just the way it goes. <laughs> well you and Pakovic should really put on a race there at the end. Yes I know. I knew somebody was back there. I didn't know exactly who it was but I was trying all I could to protect the bottom. Okay well thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Cash finished third ahead of Andy Kirby and Missy Ford. Well, Ron, you know I love race cars, but those go-karts were so tempting. I just wanted to run down and jump in one. Uh, yeah, that was gone over real well. I would have given it back eventually. Yeah, eventually. Well, we will wrap things up on Pit Pass right after this. When a stroke or injury impacts your life, we're here to help you get it back with our dedicated team of specialists, personalized treatment plans, the most inventive technologies, and a coordinated approach to recovery. This is more than just rehabilitation. This is a higher level of care.
Seagram's Escapes. Keep it colorful.